Hey there, this is just Warren here. Busy doing the setup or SIM card setup for the new Huawei B535. This is the router we're going to be using for our, um, for our LTE connections. And it is, uh, in my opinion, a decent router. Um, the setup is fairly simple. Um, the boot up process does take a while, but um, we'll have a look as to why. So, at the moment, we are currently going to be switching to this router. If we have a look on the back of the router, we'll see the basic generic information. Just pull that closer here. So you're going to see things like the Wi-Fi network details and so on. You'll also see all the LAN ports. Um, the fourth LAN port doubles as a WAN port and you'd be able to use it on, uh, let's say, a fiber connection. <clears throat> um, you'll also see the reset button right over there. So as per usual, hold something thin like a toothpick or paper clip in there and hold it down for about 10 seconds. The router should go to factory defaults. If you have a look at the bottom, over there is where we're going to be inserting the SIM card. This router takes a micro sim and not nano sim so uh, so just be careful when popping out the inserts on the router uh, there's or well, not on the router apologies but popping out the inserts on the sim card on the top of the router we've got the power button and what appears to be the wps button that is for connecting things up like wireless extenders and such by using the push of a button to have them communicate with each other okay so let's just pop in the SIM card quickly. So as with all um, all the SIM cards, it's going to be a uh, you know you get that satisfying click. There we go. Just grabbed it. Okay. So what we're going to do now is just going to pop in the power cable. We're going to see what this what this baby actually does when it boots up. Okay, cool. So straight off the bat, you see it loads up all of the lights. Um, this is just its boot up process. It hasn't immediately connected up. So there you see all the lights drop. It's not going to take a while. It takes sometimes like 30 seconds to a minute for it to boot up. We we'll have to actually get internet access. So um, that little green light is first probably going to, there we go, switch to red. Um, and then it's going to try searching for the network to see if it can find it. Once it's grabbed it, that light will change to blue. Over there you already see signal lights coming up. Um, and there we go, um, the first, um, yeah, and there we go, blue light. Um, the next light that's supposed to come up is the, um, the wireless light over there. There we go. And obviously that's the LAN light. So if you've got any devices connected up via LAN cable, then um, that's going to flash as well. Uh, this router does come with the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless networks. The interface is, I'll admit, a little bit different than the usual Huawei um, Web UI. So I will do a video on that as well. But um, in the meantime, basics to remember is where the SIM card is inserted, which is on the bottom section there, and then power button and WPS button on the top section. And then lastly, if we turn it around, we've got just focus that but we've got all the router information so the default um, password to log into the router we'll see the ip address as well to access the gateway on and all of those nice little things okay that's it from me thanks so much for your time